Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento guys. And if you have a check engine light on and called P0171 guys, we will explain what it means and what most likely causes that. With the engine being taken apart, we can show you, okay, with a great detail. Now that should work on almost any generation Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento. We will demonstrate on a 2.4 GDI engine, but even if you have a different engine, the procedure will be about the same. And those conditions can be caused guys, okay, by uh, by almost the same things as well. So as we said, that should work on most uh, generation Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento guys. Uh, before we start, let me tell you, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos, guys. We take them completely apart and we show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, if you guys need to buy any parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. So with that being said, let's explain, okay, how we're going to do that now. So we took the engine apart guys here, okay, and uh, what called 171 means? 171 means that the engine is running lean. Lean means that the fuel mixture and the air mixture, guys, it means that the engine is getting either more air or not enough fuel. That means that uh, when, okay, when the exhaust gas come out of the exhaust, you have an oxygen sensor known as bank, bank one sensor one. It detects how much oxygen and fuel you still have in the exhaust. And it can detect if you have a, a lean or rich fuel mixture. <coughs> Excuse me, lean mixture means that the engine is getting more air or not enough fuel. Conditions that can cause that, guys. Number one thing, not getting enough fuel, okay, could be easily, guys, easily caused by a, uh, by a dirty, okay, fuel injector. So, that's a fuel injector. If a fuel injector is clogged up, not spraying enough, a fuel, enough fuel, what can cause that? That can cause lean condition due to the fact that if the injectors are dirty, they may have, uh, let's say, 80% uh, spraying power instead of 100% and that can result into the engine computer thinking that it's spraying enough fuel but actually it's not and that can cause lean condition. Number two guys, on the fuel rail we have one fuel rail pressure sensor that, main, uh, that tells the engine computer okay, how much pressure we have in the fuel rail and the engine computer will control the high pressure fuel pump to make sure that you maintain constant pressure here. If that sensor is reading uh, the wrong information, if it's not working correctly, what can happen? Okay, that can affect the fuel injectors because, for instance, if you don't have enough fuel pressure in the fuel rail, they will not spray as much fuel, that can cause lean condition. That can be caused by a malfunctioning fuel pump, high pressure fuel pump, dirty guys, okay, fuel filter, or the low pressure fuel pump not delivering enough fuel from the fuel tank to the high pressure pump. Now, what condition can cause the car to get more air, guys? that in most cases this is known as a vacuum leak vacuum leak is some extra air the engine gets that it doesn't know of so anything such as a back intake manifold gasket bad gasket where the throttle body attaches to the intake manifold broken vacuum line for instance okay this one right here you can see it's cracked okay even right here you can see little cracks all that can cause guys if you have a broken vacuum line disconnected pcv valve bad pcv valve that can cause your engine to get more air and as a result that can cause these codes so always look okay first for vacuum leaks that's the number one thing that we see here at the shop. Second, inspect the fuel system, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.